Good morning, everybody. Eddie DeBlock here, Relic Extractors. Uh, I'm coming at you uh, with the cleanups from um, December 22nd, a couple days before uh, Christmas. Um, and uh, we're going to get to a couple things today. And uh, again, I'm joined by Wrangler here today. My buddy. So I'm using the daughter's room for uh, my video since she's uh, left to go back up to her boyfriend's before heading back to college. Um, so anyway, again, I'll just uh, put the notables up here. But before we get into, uh, you know, the, the cleanups here, um, I just want to touch base. Uh, again, I don't know, maybe a lot of you, you know, haven't watched some of the earlier videos. Um you know, I just went over 100 subscribers. I was going to just give the, the hat away here to, like, the 101st or 102nd subscriber, but the 101st and 102nd and even the 100th subscriber decided to remain private and not public, so I don't know who you are. Either one is subscriber number 100, 101, and 102, which is where I'm at uh, at the moment. So, um, <clears throat> talking with the wife about it here, so, uh, you know, she's usually got some pretty good insight for me to, uh, you know, try and promote things. So, we sat down, we talked about it, and she came up with the idea to um, just have a trivia question, um, you know, to give away uh, the hat. Now, if you want to know more about the hat, go back and view one of my earlier videos, uh, you know, regarding the, uh, the merchandise here. So, uh, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to have a trivia question here, uh, for the hat giveaway, and, um, it's going to be one of my earlier videos, it's got more than 100 views, alright, and 1914 is the clue, so you got to go back and watch some of, one of my earlier videos, um, you know, I, I'll tell you it's in the month of October. That's all I'm going to tell you. So uh, have at it. And the first one, who comments with, uh, you know, the correct answer um, wins the hat. And um, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, uh, and also uh, in the near future... I'm going to be running uh, auctions. I got a new turntable um, that Annie had purchased for me. Um, actually, way back for Father's Day. Just wasn't sure what I was going to, where I was going to go with it. So I've been holding on to it for quite a few months now. And uh, actually, she bought me uh, two. Well, one's not really a turntable, but it's a multicolored light. And uh, depending on the glass, it sets off really nice with the different colored. Uh, light beams so we'll get into that at a later date um but uh so these are the finds here from the last dig on december 22nd um there is one in here that uh after my after my video just shut off like i said i have problems with this phone once in a while <clears throat> and uh my phone had shut off just completely shut off while i had it on pause in making the video it's like the second or third time it's done it i'm not going to sweat it it is what it is um, but the, uh, this jar right here was found afterwards. I, I found it and then I was going to open up the, uh, the video to record it and, uh, the phone was shut off. And once it shut off, the video stopped. So, uh, at any rate, um, we'll get into it here and, uh, so let's get started. Um, again, these are just the notables of, uh, you know, the main finds and, uh, you know, we'll leave it at that. So, um, well, I'll start with this. You know, being as I just mentioned, uh, it was caught off camera. Um, it's actually a poison jar. I've dug these before, um, but not with the lid. You can see where, see if you can get off there, focus there a little bit. It says poison. And um, it, I actually dug it. With the original lid, even though it's cracked, it's whole, 
and the original gasket, the rubber seal gasket. Um, it actually had, uh, it, was, it was vacuumed. It had the seal on it, even though the, the metal was rusted off the top. It has like a little metal band spring clamp that pushes down on the center of the lid, and it just grabs the lip of the jar. Um, but on the bottom, it says, Boker's Pyrox. Okay, now these are listed in the uh, Red Book of Fruit Jars. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. Um, but yeah, it's listed in the Red Book at around $20 to $25. And that's complete. Um, so I, I would I would say, you know, this is still like a $15 jar without the metal clamp, which is obviously the hardest part to, uh, to find for that. So yeah, that was the end of the day find before I left when the phone shut off. So we'll scoot that one aside for now. Um, here's the uh, pair of Renee's Pain Killing Magic Oils. Like I said, these were relatively hard to find. I was actually quite shocked that I, you know, got two of them, uh, you know, together. So, um, but I'll, I'll hold the better one up in the light here so we can, because the embossing is not the strongest on these, but you see where it says Renee's. And then it's got the uh, the monogram underneath it on this side. It's the pain killing, and then we'll flip it over. And where it says magic oil, um, nice aqua colors. Like I said, it's got the interior staining on them, but uh, there's no damage at all on those. Okay. Um, uh, little Wyeth chemical. It's upside down. Let's see here. Right there. It looks like it's got a little flash crack in it. I didn't even notice that until now. Some things show up on the camera. It's funny, and then you don't you don't see it. But anyway, um. So that's that one, and uh, a couple bromos. I'll just hold the one up in the light here so we can get a good view of the color. And uh, this is the Capillary Hill Mansfield's Capillaris. I'm assuming, like I said, was a um, a blood blood pill, you know, blood regulator. And uh, that's the original cork that was in it. Cleaned up nice. I thought it was like a Vaseline, an older Vaseline jar at first. I mean, it's got that that same shape. Um, and we have, you know, just a, uh, you know, fairly common, but it was just a nice uh, pint size uh, ball offset, uh, perfect mason. And to those of you who, are, who aren't familiar. With the offset, um, it can go either way. The, the uh, word mason is offset either to the left of perfect or to the right to where the M is under the R or this one in this case where the A is underneath the P and the E. There's all different variants to this. This is the 1910-1923 variant. Um... I do have a lid for it. Number four mold mark. And uh, so that's that one. Um, then we have the Sure Seal. Really nice, strong embossing on it. Uh, number five, old style number five with the underline. Hold it, turn it around the other way. And um, it does have some damage to the lip. As you can see here, um, it's a wide mouth style, lightning style jar. Um, so yeah, with a lid, it won't be too bad, which um, I'm sure I got a couple laying around somewhere. But uh, this first one that I dug, so I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. It'll be a good marble jar in the future. And um, 
I don't want to break it any more than it already is. Last but not least is the um, Frederick Stearns and Company from Detroit. Wasn't sure what it was when I dug it. I thought maybe it may be a whiskey or um, you know, maybe an olive oil or some type of large condiment. Not the case for any of those. Um, I researched it, and it was actually a medicine company. Um, this was would have been uh, an astringent or like a witch hazel or something like that, uh, you know, to clean your skin with. It's the only spot on the bottle. It's got the embossing is that skinny panel. It is blown. It's got a very long um, tool mark on the neck and the top. You know, the uh, seam stops about an inch to an inch and a half below the lip. You can see this, kind of see the seam right in there, and that's right about where it stops to where the light is hitting it. Nice, uh, you know, triangular shape, basically, you know, with the squared off edges. So um, I guess it does make it a six panel bottle. Uh, no damage, like I said. I did uh, see an amber one. They do come in amber as well. Um, the prices are really from one end of the spectrum to the other. I saw one for $10 and I saw one for $60. So, you know, for the ambers. And, I mean, I'd be leaning more towards, uh, you know, $10 um, on these. So, you know, no, I don't think it's anything major. I haven't seen them before. Uh, until more of them pop out, you know, that's, uh, I'd say that would be a fair price. So I'll be, I'll be listing, uh, the, this one and, um, the two Renee's, the Capillaris and the, those are, these are all going to be listed. This one here, this one, the two Renee's and the Frederick Stearns. Um, so anyway, again, everybody remember to hit the like button, subscribe, on the public level, not private level. Um, go back and check out that video. And uh, like I said, the first one who uh, comments with the correct answer wins this awesome uh, Relic Extractors hat. In case nobody has gone back and seen uh, the earlier videos, um, this is the logo on the front. Um, the Relic Extractors is... Uh, embroidered on the back and uh it's got a really nice uh very bright led light up underneath the bill which is great for when you're down in a hole and you really can't see a lot of what's going on um and uh this branch water jug is in one of my earlier videos uh, i picked that up at a yard sale so if anybody wants to go back a little bit earlier and check that out it's uh, a video on just all my stoneware basically the larger stuff i got tons of stoneware that's locked up in the shed right now but um that's what i'll be doing during the winter once the ground totally freezes up it is still very mild here uh where i live in pennsylvania i'm not too far from where i dig in new york state about a 40 45 minute ride I will be stopping at the dump uh, a little bit later on today just to check it out. Won't be digging today, but um, so maybe I'll just take you on a little journey walk through and um, see if anybody else has been there and if they left anything behind. Uh, we'll see if we can pick anything up. So again, please like and subscribe. Keep yourself on the public level when you're in doing so. And um, check out the earlier videos to win the hat. And uh, thanks, Annie, for coming up with the bright idea for that. And uh, we'll get back to you with another video maybe later on today or tomorrow. And uh, Wrangler here. Chilling out. And uh, he says we'll talk to you on the next video. All right, guys. Be good.